So I've said this for a couple months that it is, um, it's hard to pinpoint what exactly is going on in the market um, and be able to predict from buyer to buyer or listing to listing what they can expect, right? Like my clients always wanna know like, Rachel, what can I expect once we go to market? Or what can I expect to compete against once we're writing offers? Um, and it's really hard for me to answer that right now. So um, I have some listings that are moving within a matter of days with multiple offers. I have a friend that put a listing um, on the market this last weekend. She got four offers with 50% over ask price or I'm sorry, 50,000 over ask price. And then we have some listings that are taking a little bit longer to sell and we're needing to do some price adjustments to get them under contract. Um, if I had to pinpoint the properties that are moving quickly, it would be the cream puffs. And I know this is like a total 1980s, like where's my glamour shot and my Cadillac term, but it's true. <laughs> um, the cream puffs are the properties that are offering something that maybe that buyer isn't gonna be able to see or find if they wait another week, two weeks, a couple months. So if you have a property that um, is average and a buyer could wait a little while and find that exact same thing or very close to it on the market, then it's probably going to take a little bit while a little while to sell but if you have something unique a really large lot or a four car garage or some really amazing impressive updates then you will likely move very quickly um, so that's what we're seeing in the market um, we're also seeing a lot of seller concessions being offered and being asked for. So if the seller isn't automatically offering a seller concession to help buy that um, interest rate down for that buyer, we're seeing buyers come in and asking for it. So I have some buyers under contract right now who have zero concessions because they didn't want it or they didn't need it. Um, or I have some buyers under contract that have a $30,000 seller concession. And what that's doing is that's achieving them a, what's called a three to one buy down. And a three to one buy down is going to buy down your interest rate below par for the next three years. So for the first year, you'll lock in a 5% interest rate. For year two, you're gonna move up to a 6% interest rate. And then in year three, you'll be moved up to a 7% interest rate. Now what this does is it builds in three years for you to watch those interest rates and refinance sometime within those next three years. So anyone who's doing one of those temporary buy downs is doing so to get a lower interest rate today with the anticipation that rates will improve and they'll be able to refinance into a lower rate. Um, when do we expect these rates to go down? Um, this time last year, we were expecting that in the spring of 2023, we would see lower rates. And that obviously hasn't happened. They've only gotten worse. Um, what drives these rates is not necessarily the Fed rate, right? So when the Fed says we're raising the interest rates um, a quarter of a point, that does not affect our mortgage rates. That's only affects our short term debt. So car payments, credit cards, etc. Um, the 30 year mortgage or the mortgage rates are driven by the bond market and the bond market is driven very similarly to the stock market. So when we see these big global events like Israel and um, Ukraine, that makes the investors really nervous and they pull their money out, which then makes those interest rates go up. So if this information is pertinent to you and you're planning on either refinancing or making a move, whether it be a buy or a sell, um, just know to watch the bond market um, and get in touch with a lender really to make sure that you're staying up to date because I've seen these rates go from a seven to a seven and a half within a matter of hours. Um, so it's very volatile right now, but we're still seeing people move, right? Um, and why are we still seeing people move if the rates are so high? Because despite these scary headlines, we are still tracking to see a six to eight percent value growth throughout the year. So that doesn't mean that we haven't seen, you know, the roller coaster of, oh, we're up this month, we're down this month, etc. Um, it's very exciting, <laughs> very tiring. Um, but we are still marked to see a positive value growth. So these buyers who are buying today know that they're taking on a higher rate but also know that they're buying at today's prices rather than tomorrow's prices or next year's prices, which will in turn be higher.